Ben Sana Incorpore Sano. A Saudi mind is supposed to be in a very sound uh, body. This morning, it is now time for us to look at the issue of health. The health of every nation is so critical it's to its uh, development. And for that matter, any institution and for that matter, any personality who is involved in mobilizing resources for health development is one that must be viewed with utmost concern. I have with me in the studio Dr. Oforiata of Motec Life UK, who is in the studios this morning to talk about his campaign for mobilizing health resources to the development of Ghana. Dr. Furata, most welcome to the show. Thank you. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. Motec Live UK, what is it all about? Well, Motec Live UK, uh, it's uh, a voluntary organization of health professionals who are largely Ghanaians who are trying to get together to provide uh, health care service, train people, transfer skills, and improve the health care of the people of Ghana. Mm. That's the main objective of the organization. Okay, so so this is a group not based in Ghana, no. but but uh, you know based outside the country yes. in England and somewhere in the well, Wales it's based in the UK mm. with membership uh, across the whole of the British Isles okay. and with some members in um, Holland, okay. Canada, Germany. Okay, and uh, we try to pull our resources together, Good. and it comprises all aspects of uh, of healthcare workers. Okay. In other words, uh, surgeons, uh, nurses. And every, every health worker okay. can think of. So what is it exactly that you seek to do in mobilizing these resources, you know, to probably come back home and support? Which aspect of health delivery, health management that you seek, you know, to direct your strength at? Well, I think the, the whole thing started uh, from an observation of what was happening uh, or what happened in Ghana uh, by a visit uh, to the hospitals and realizing that there were shortfalls. And we could actually identify uh, the, the hard work that those who were stayed behind were doing. Okay. But uh, having gone abroad and trained and uh, acquired some skills, we realized that uh, there are some ways that we could work with the people of Ghana, the health workers, and improve the system. Okay. So um, it's an upgrading procedure. Okay. If people cannot get easily to Europe or the continent to train, which is what is happening now, then we better bring their training to Ghana. Okay. How do, you, how, do you, how do you intend to implement this program? Well, I would say uh, a few days ago, we marked the first anniversary of our, of our organization, okay. our station. And we've already paid about six working visits to okay. Ghana, okay. Uh, working mainly at uh, Kofuria St. Joseph's Hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, we now also work at Nkoko Holy Family Hospital okay. and are assessing a few other hospitals as well. Okay. Um, what we do is that we come with a multidisciplinary team that work with in theaters, on the wards, uh, we have physiotherapists, we've got okay. microbiologists, and identify the, the, the main problems and see and discuss with the people on the ground and okay. see how best we can help them. If it involves provision of uh, equipment and we are capable of doing that, we okay. do it. If we can't, we discuss the administration to okay. try and uh, back up. So in effect, you, you're bringing human resources down and whenever necessary and possible, you're bringing some equipment as well to come and support the system. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, the greatest um, asset to any, any, any uh, growing uh, uh, economy mm -hmm. is human resources. Okay. So we are also concentrating on trying to improve the human resources. All right. any, now, any training programs for, for local medical um, um, experts? We do provide the training on the job, okay. and we are in consultation with the uh, College of uh, Physicians and Surgeons right. of Ghana, uh, and the talks are still ongoing to right. see where we, we can end it. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, from tomorrow, the very 16th of October 2007, yes. you're organizing the MOTEC Maiden Annual Anniversary yes. Lecture. What is the object of this lecture? I think that you probably would have realized that uh, quite a number of uh, uh, voluntary groups from abroad are coming to Ghana. Mm. And people are doing things their own way. Right. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the Ministry of Health is trying to coordinate. But there's the, an effort that we are trying to make to focus attention of all these groups to try and work better together. Because I think uh, numbers can provide strength. Okay. And that's the main objective, to focus people's attention mm. on what the diaspora mm. can contribute in mm. terms of healthcare. Who, who is coming to this lecture? And what is the collaboration with existing agencies in Ghana? Yeah. We're already uh, working uh, with a few local private sector, All right. uh, like the Lister Hospital. Okay. Uh, we are in talks with Medilab to improve radiological services in the country. Okay. Uh, we have um, 
uh, other uh, groups like the International Association of Spouses mm. uh, uh, who are supporting it. And uh, we are sure that the Minister of Health, okay. with the commitment they've made already, mm. would support us mm. to uh, bring uh, improvement to okay. the country. <laughs> Interesting. Your, your theme for tomorrow's lecture yeah. is moving Ghana's health forward, the diasporic dimension. Yes. Uh, so, so your focus is not, is not on mobilizing local resources, but rather the resources that are out there to come and support yeah. internal development yeah. of health delivery. Right. You have Dr. Uh, Professor Dasibre Otibuatin speaking. Why the choice of uh, Dasibre? Well, it's an interesting uh, choice, but very uh, uh, practical. Okay. I think that uh, you, in history, uh, in the 19th century, there was an exile of um, the Ashantis to the Achim area. Okay. And uh, they have settled, they have developed in the area. Uh, we're also fully aware of the brain drain that happened in the country. Okay. Um, I think that we are trying to reverse it. We're trying to get people who have gone away to come back and contribute. So just like they uh, traveled from Ashanti to Akim and developed the area, mm. we're trying to attract the attention <laughs> of, of, of Ghana. So a certain side. historical perspective Connection. here, which exactly. has a geographical orientation exactly. as well. I think that's fantastic. Who are some of the people that we're going to see at tomorrow's lecture? I think that we have uh, sent out invitations to the British High Commissioner. We expect some of the uh, uh, um, academic um, force from Ghana, okay. uh, universities to attend. Okay. Uh, we have um, some of our own members from UK, 22 member uh, uh, group. Uh, right. So it's going to be quite interesting. We expect some of the uh, doctors also okay. to attend. Okay. All right. So um, the general public is invited to? We're all invited. Everybody is invited Everybody to come. Is invited. What time is it and what, what is the venue? The venue is the British Council at the showroom. Okay. And it's from 4 to 6 p.m. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. 4 to 6 p.m. Yes. British Council. Everybody is expected there to come and listen to some health talk. I hope so. So we can mobilize, you know, development resources I hope to improve so. Ghana's uh, health and delivery. Certainly. Thanks very much, Dr. Um, Ofriata, for talking to us. And uh, we hope to see you tomorrow at the British Council. And for the good people out there, this is a very good clarion call. We need to develop our resources so that we can improve health delivery in Ghana. Good morning. Stand by. We'll be right back to you. Hey, it's almost 8.